All right, so what we are going to do today would be first, let's identify or name the symbols that I will be showing you. Okay, so kindly use the chat in order to answer. You may use the chat. Uh, yes, somebody's raising Francis. Francis Patricio. What's your answer? What symbol is this? Shell. Okay, shell. Very good. Okay, you may now uh, mute your mic. Thank you, very good. Okay, so this is Shell. Okay, that's it, this is Shell, a gasoline station. Next. Uh, Lady Ruth Ang Angeles, what's your answer? Lady Ruth Angeles. Lady Ruth Angeles, are you there? Okay, how about Manuel Failano? Yes, Manuel Failano. What's your answer? Starbucks, ma'am. Starbucks. All right, Starbucks, yes. Okay, you may now mute your mic. Thank you. Okay, that's very good. Okay, so this is Starbucks, right? Next, how about this one? Danielle Balingit. Danielle Balingit, what's your answer? Mitsubishi. Okay, Mitsubishi, very good. All right, there you go, Mitsubishi. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the last. Let's see, how about this one? Yes, Manuel Failano again. Manuel Failano. Yes, Manuel, are you there? Um, McDonald's, ma'am. McDonald's. Right. Yes, McDonald's or McDo. Right, very good. Okay, there you go. McDo or McDonald's. Okay, I guess this is the last. How about this one? Okay, yes, Manuel Failano again. Um, Facebook, ma'am. Facebook. Facebook, all right. Very good. Facebook. Thank you. Okay, so I guess uh, Manuel Failano got uh, three correct answers. 
Okay, Facebook, that's very good. Okay, so I guess you're all familiar with the symbols or brands. All right, so thank you for participating for our simple uh, activity, okay, in, relate, uh, in relation with our topic for today. So before we start, again, uh, this is Junema A. Samiling, your OLC, and welcome to the GE course, Understanding the Self. Now, after our discussion, of course, as learners, you are expected to first know sociology and its meaning based on various thinkers, explain the relevance of sociology in the study of the self. Now, what is sociology? When you say sociology, of course, it comes from the Latin word socius, and it means companionship. And from the Greek word logos, and it means to study. So that is why sociology means to study companionship, being with one another, being with other people. Now here are the definitions of sociology from various thinkers. First, we have Max Weber. So according to Max Weber, sociology is the study of social action. So in other words, how we act in our society is what we call also as sociology. Then we have also August Calm. So according to August Calm, sociology is the scientific study of society. So what we study in sociology is merely the structure of society wherein there is hierarchy. So we have the people, the citizens, we have families, churches, schools, other institutions, and then of course we have the government. Then we have also from Robert E. Park and Ernest Burgess, Sociology is the study of collective behavior. So people in a certain area, they have this particular behavior wherein they have similarities as to their behavior in one area. So you call that also as sociology. Then according to Ferdinand Tones, sociology is the study of humans living together. For example, a family, of course, they live together. So you can also call that as sociology. Then we have also from Emil Durkheim, sociology is the study of social facts through social institutions. So when we say social institutions, we are pertaining with the church, the family, the school, the government, and other social institutions that are included in our society. Therefore, we can say that sociology refers to the study of human companionship or association of humans in the society. So the way we interact in our society is what we call sociology. Now here are the influential, influential thinkers of sociology and their various perspectives. First, we have from August Com. So he is regarded as the father of sociology. He is a splendid student in his youth, 
but because of his different perspectives and beliefs, he was removed from a Cole Polytechnic, which is one of the famous schools or universities in France. Then he also proposed that for society to improve, scientific thinking must be employed. Now, Com also needed to utilize scientific perception to think about social conduct. He called this as positivism. This ought to be a science on learning of which we can be certain or sure or beyond any doubt. That's why the term uh, positivism was used. He likewise recognized concentration on social dependability and investigation of social change for social progress. So for the society to experience or to achieve progress, then there must be social change. Second, we have Harriet Martineau. So for Harriet, she's uh, one of the first thinkers who advocates feminism. It's because, of course, she is a woman. Feminism is a movement to empower women and be treated as equal to men. So the equality between men and women. So she saw this connection of slavery and women oppression. Wherein, of course, during the earlier times, this was very rampant. Slavery and oppression of women. That is why she proposed or she promoted this kind of movement, which is to empower women and be treated as equal to men. Now, she is also known for translating many of the works and writings of Calm. She introduced different ideas about research methodologies, economics, and politics. So Martineau is actually a follower of COM. Third, we have also Herbert Spencer. Herbert Spencer made a comparison to a working society that of the human body. So in order to function effectively for Spencer, different parts should be in tune and work together for well-being and survival. So Herbert tried to compare our society or the society with that of the human body. Because remember, the body that we have, it has different parts, right? So you have your head, your neck, shoulders, your arms, your body, of course, your, your legs or your feet. So every part of our body is important. Same way with our society. Every part of society is important. A family is important, which is a part of a family. So since you are part of our society, that means you are important. Now we have also social Darwinism. So this is patterned after Charles Darwin's evolution theory. So if you are familiar with the evolution theory of Darwin. So Spencer thought that evolutionary social change would lead to progress. Remember, I made mention a while ago that in order for the society to achieve progress, there must be change. So this would lead to progress as long as there is no human interference, which is based on the idea of survival of the fittest. I think you're familiar with this, survival of the fittest, wherein there is competition in one society or in a group of people. Let's say, for example, in a classroom, students are competing for higher grades or for the ranking. And of course, he is also against social reform. So he said that the poor are poor because they deserve it. And rich are rich because they deserve it. So whether you agree or disagree with this, 
Anyway, this is just the point of view of the sociology. Part one, we have Karl Marx. So Karl Marx, Karl Marx looked into class struggle in society. He looked at two groups of people in the society. So we have the rich, or what we call the bourgeois. Then we have also the workers or those who are earning salaries, for example, the employees or the wage earners. We also call them as the proletariat. So the rich ones and the poor ones. So there's this classes of society. Now, what is class conflict? since I made mention about class, the rich and the poor. All right, so class conflict, it means that the different interests of these different groups leads to constant class conflict. So since in our society, we have different classes, right? So, of course, we have the rich, the elite, then we have also the middle group, the poor. Although we can group them into two, the rich and the poor. So, Marx stated that the working class would eventually rise up against rich and overtake the capitalists. So, his proposal was to create a classless society wherein no one would be powerless or there is equality between rich and poor. Next, we have also Emil Durkheim. So Emil Durkheim is a famous thinker who said that society exists due to expansive agreement of individuals from society, consent to specific desires. Now, in pre-modern circumstances, agreement of equalities, or qualities, I should say, and convictions encompass family convention. So this relationship is called mechanical solidarity. So mechanical solidarity happens when group of people have the same values, they have the same maybe characteristics or personalities. So these are all their similarities as group of people in a society. So you call that as mechanical solidarity. Now the different roles played by individuals in society displays interdependence on each other for products and services. Since we have our own perception as individuals, that's why we are also playing our own role or we have different roles as part of our society. Our perception on what, what particular product to buy, what particular service to, to render. So it's all dependent on our role or on our perception as individuals. Another term, we have scientific methodology. So the research styles he developed involves techniques to validate theories wherein substitute assumption with scrutiny, gather and organize data and use the data for analyzing social theory. So Emil Durkheim presented the use of statistical methods in research. So he was the one who presented the use of statistical methods in research. So the statistical methods of research or in research, of course, it includes gathering of data. We try to organize our data. 
we study, we analyze in order for us to come up with result. So for those who have already experienced conducting research, I think you did all these techniques, all these methods as part of your statistical method in research. So in conclusion, understanding the meaning of sociology in the study of self is an important factor to understand our role or our stand in the society where we belong. All right, so that ends our discussion on sociology or more of the meaning definition of sociology according to different thinkers and some of their perspective when it comes to society and its relationship with the study of the self.